Welcome to the MyCare Corner presentation. MyCare Corner provides the ability to access your personal health record. This presentation will provide an overview of the different areas of your record within MyCare Corner. Once you have created an account and logged into MyCare Corner, the patient home screen will display. The home screen displays a menu bar to the left side of the page and data tiles in the main area. For some tiles, you can view the latest results and data displayed on the tile. Selecting a tile will allow you to view the page that contains all the data for that category. The home screen can be customized so that you see only the tiles that you select in the order that you want to see them. To customize the home page, you may select Edit Display. Using the drag icons, move the tiles in your desired order. Select the checkbox on the tile to include it in your home screen display or deselect the checkbox to remove it. Then select Save Display to update any changes you have made. The Welcome tile will display what is new in My Care Corner. You may select the menu options on the left to navigate to the different areas of your record. Health Record, Medical Readings, Healthy Living, and the Communication Center. Select the name of the group to expand it. The Health Record menu displays items that are part of your hospital or clinic record. The health record menu may be expanded or collapsed. Once expanded, you may view allergies, concerns, conditions, documents, encounters, immunizations, medications, and procedures. You can also add information to these sections manually. If information comes from the hospital or clinic system, you will not be able to edit it. However, you are able to edit or delete the information you enter manually. If you add information manually, your providers nor their staff can view your manually entered portal record. If you have information that your provider should know, please call the provider's office to notify them. Select a widget within your health record to view the information for that section. Each section within your health record will allow the data to be sorted by selecting the headers. For this example, within procedures, select the column heading you want to sort by. Selecting the same heading again will reverse the sort. The source column shows where the information originated. Any information that has been added by the facility you visited cannot be edited. To add a new entry, select the plus sign in the lower right corner of the screen and enter the appropriate information. Please note that any information added through self-entry will not be communicated with your healthcare team. Be sure to complete all required fields, which are marked with a red asterisk. Once all needed information has been added, select Save. The Medical Readings menu displays results and values associated with your hospital or clinic record. Medical readings will include blood oxygen, blood glucose, vital signs, and lab results. Within Blood Oxygen, blood glucose, and vital signs, a graph will display at the top of the page. Hover over a point within the graph to view the date and value details. You can filter the graph by date range using the options in the date range field. The list of values is displayed below the graph. You can sort this list by selecting the column headers. Select the column again to reverse the sort. Within Lab Results, results are grouped and displayed by date. You may search the list by typing the test name in the search field. To view the details of a result, select the row. The detail window will display. New entries may be added to any area of the medical readings by selecting the plus sign in the lower right corner of the screen, the same as it was entered within the health record. Please note that any information added through self-entry will not be communicated with your healthcare team. The Healthy Living menu displays values to measure your health. Some may be associated with your hospital or clinic record. You may also add information to these sections manually. If information comes from the hospital or clinic system, you will not be able to edit it. However, 
you are able to edit or delete the information you enter manually. If you add information manually, it is important to note that your providers nor their staff can view your manually entered portal record. If you have information that your provider should know, please call the provider's office to notify them. Healthy living will include your body mass index, height, weight, and exercise. The Communication Center menu displays ways to stay in touch with your healthcare providers and create reminders and notifications. Appointments allows you to view, edit, delete, and or add appointments on your personal health record. The Show dropdown allows you to view the list of appointments by upcoming or past appointments. You may also sort the list by column headers. You can also set reminders for your appointments by selecting Set Reminder. Enter the time prior to the appointment you would like to receive your reminder. Then select Save. Appointments may be added by selecting the plus sign in the lower right corner of the screen as it was entered within the health record. Please note that any information added through the self-entry will not be communicated with your healthcare team. The Messages widget allows you to send messages including attachments to your care providers within your personal record. The message inbox displays all of your sent and received messages. You can filter the list by selecting inbox to view received or sent to view messages you have sent. To view, delete, or reply to a message, select the row for that message. The message and corresponding options appear in the message detail window. To send a new message, select the red plus sign in the bottom right hand corner. Select the To field to choose a recipient from your list of authorized providers. Select the type of communication. Enter a subject, a message, and add any attachments if necessary. You can select attachments from the file stored in the Documents widget or upload files from your computer. Select Send to send the message to the selected provider. To view the messages sent, select Send. Notifications may be set up to alert you when items meeting certain criteria have been added to your record. Please see Create Notifications for additional information. Reminders allow you to view, edit, delete, and or add appointments or task reminders to your personal health record. The reminder we set up via appointments is displaying and may be edited. The related item field allows you to select either the appointment or medication reminders to display. The show field allows you to view the list of appointments by upcoming, past, or custom appointments. You may also sort the list by selecting the column headers. Print record allows you to print your health record. Use the date range to identify the date you wish to print. Select the type of data field to select the data from your health record you would like to print. Select Save to save your selections. Then select Export to display the PDF. Then select Print. To access your user profile, select the round button in the top right corner of the screen. From the Profile menu, you can sign out of your record, manage your account, share your record, and view record history. Manage My Account allows you to edit your username, account name or password, or delete your account. All Profiles allows you to view all records associated with your account. Share Record allows you to share your health information with another person such as a spouse or parent. My Profile allows you to update your name, relationship, gender, or date of birth. For additional information within My Care Corner, select Get Help in the top right hand corner of My Care Corner. This concludes the My Care Corner presentation. For any additional questions regarding setup or processes, please contact the facility that you registered your MyCare Corner account with. Thank you.